common to find corrupt members of Congress. But Senator Marco Rubio, really, I can't think of anyone dirtier. Um, going back to his early days, his brother-in-law, uh, as I recall, was a coke trafficker. And young Marco, as a teenager, used to, as I recall, walk the dogs and mow the lawn of the brother-in-law. The thing is, you could say, well, he was just a dog walker or the lawn mower, but this was a major coke trafficker. Little Marco was too goddamn stupid to notice anything, or maybe he did notice something, and they paid him, you know, $100 an hour to walk the dogs. I mean, I can't answer that question, but that's one of the things I'm going to be looking at. There are so many. He has a long time association with one of the most crooked individuals in the state of Florida. And when you say one of the most crooked individuals in the state of Florida, I mean, I don't even know what compares to that. I mean, in the outer circles of hell, I, you know, I mean, David Rivera, they are long time party friends, love to party. Love to go out on the town and have a good time. Love to consort with lobbyists. He's a family man, so I would not want to cast aspersions on he or Mr. Rivera. However, if one were to do a Google search, one would find some very interesting things. I've written a few things about Mr. Rubio. I won't call him Senator Rubio. That's a degraded term as it is. But... This is a guy who, I wrote a, a story for the New York Observer. He obtained housing, his homes, very, 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 very cheaply and always managed to make money on these real estate transactions where campaign donors or bankers he knew or people who might, again, I don't want to cast dispersions, but people who might want favors from Mr. Rubio uh, helped him out. Uh, there was a crooked doctor involved in one of these transactions, a Medicare fraudster. He's got a lot of interesting friends, um, and he had no comment about this. I mean, you know, if I were called and said, are you a crook? And do you like to party with David Rivera? And do you have some intimate lobbyist female companions? If you're a U.S. senator, as Mr. Rubio is, a lot of what he does has the appearance of impropriety. So I'll be looking into the dirty, dirty path of this man, but I'll be also focusing on his disgusting role as the chief cheerleader and sponsor of the, the attempt to overthrow the government of Venezuela. I mean, you know, I would say the three most powerful individuals all should be rotting in jail cells are Rubio, John Bolton, and uh, uh, Elliot Abrams. And Rubio was there first. I mean, Trump ultimately bears responsibility for the criminal sanctions that are punishing the people of Venezuela, strangling the country, and not harming the leadership. They're not hurting President Maduro in any way. I understand why the Venezuelan people are tired and exhausted, and they are not happy necessarily with President Maduro but I have been to Venezuela a few months ago, and I'll be going back as part of my reporting, in addition to going down to Florida. So we very definitely need to raise the money for this story. You read newspaper stories where they say the people are starving. Well, the government does give a monthly food basket to everybody in the poor area, which is most of the country. I saw it with my own eyes and wrote about it at Washington Babylon, Caracas Chronicles, if you Google that. In Washington, Babylon, you'll find this story. Um, you'll find pictures. I was in the poor areas where I was, you know, fed, well fed, well taken care of. Um, I'm not going to say Venezuela is a paradise. Of course it's not. It's a very difficult situation. It's complicated. But if there's any man who is evil in regard to his conduct, to, towards Venezuela, it's Marco Rubio. Something's there. I don't know what his obsession is. And lastly, I am also going to be focusing on his best friend in Venezuela, Leopoldo Lopez, 
praised in the U.S. media as a hero and a freedom fighter, I can guarantee you this guy is going to look very, very ugly when I'm done with my recording. I can't guarantee you I'll uncover every stone and find every fact, but I will guarantee you that Marco Rubio, Donald Trump, John Bolton, Elliot Abrams, and uh, Leopoldo Lopez are going to be pissed off when they see my report. All I'm looking for is $1,200 because I know everybody's pressed for money. The expenses aren't going to come close. I got to go to Florida. I don't, I'm happy to do it. It's going to be a great reporting trip. Down to Miami, uh, possibly Tallahassee, and to Caracas. At $1,200, i am going to lose. Journalism is not the most profitable pr- profession unless you are, well, like a lot of our uh, U.S. journalists, uh, not terribly critical or skeptical or honest. And that's, you know, the fastest route to success. But we try to do a little bit better at Washington Bell.